In this video, I'll show you how to build and assemble a first Lego League challenge table. Hi, I'm AJ and you're watching Woodified. I make DIY and woodworking videos to save you time and money. First up, I purchased a four by eight foot sheet of plywood. This is select with one good side. So that means one side is good. The other side is a little bit rougher, but I'm sanding the smooth side just to get out any splinters or little bumps that might be in the plywood. We want it to be as smooth as possible. Next, you'll want to cut your side rails. So I'm cutting two two by fours at 96 inches. And these two by fours, what I purchased was the pine two by fours. Uh, so these are the ones that they're already kiln dried. Then you'll need two two by fours at 45 inches. I'm cutting them on the miter saw, but if you don't have a miter saw, you can cut these by hand. With the two by fours cut out, you can lay the side rails in place. Here, I'm just checking to make sure that they're all the same way. So I want it the, all the crowns to be uh, up. Starting with a long edge, I line it up with the edge of the four by eight sheet of plywood, and then I clamp it in place. With the long edge clamped in place, I was able to hold it there. My two by four wasn't perfectly straight, so I was able to bend it and then clamp it so it held it perfect. And then I was able to go down and screw some one and five eighths inch screws up from underneath. With one long edge secured in place, I then moved on to the short rail, again clamping it in place. I took some two and a half inch screws to screw the two by fours on and I just screwed two in on the end and then I fastened the sheet of plywood from underneath using my one and five eighth inch screws. Even though I have the two by four clamped in position, it still wasn't perfectly lined up with the edge of the plywood, so I just used my rubber mallet to tap it back in place, put in some screws, and then I had a, I, I tapped out the two by four, and then drilled some more screws in there with it clamped in place. With the short edge in place, I then moved on to the second long edge and clamped that in place. Here you can see I used the other short piece of 2x4 to make sure that I have it the perfect distance from the other 2x4 so the two long edges are perfectly parallel to each other. I did take some measurements to make sure everything looked really well and then screwed it down. This long edge was kind of giving me some trouble. It wasn't uh, going square to the cut edge of the short one. So I was just screwed it in a couple times, backed them off, hammered it with the mallet, squished it with the clamp, and then screwed it in. I took some diagonal measurements just to make sure everything was square. So here you can see the two by four overhangs the edge of the sheet of plywood. I did this because on the other side, I lined up the edge of the two by four perfectly with the straight factory edge of the plywood.
Once I had everything screwed in place, I did go back and fill in some extra screws along the bottom to make sure the sheet of plywood was not going to move at all. With everything well screwed in place, I sanded the edges of the 2x4. I made them, I ran them over so there's no sharp edges. With some flat black paint, I painted the walls and the home area of the plywood. So you don't have to paint the whole sheet of plywood. You only need to paint the area where the mat will not cover. So the I measured that out, marked it, and painted away. I used an oil-based paint and it stunk like for days. I actually for a couple weeks, it's still off gas. But I chose this because I only did one coat of paint and it worked really well. Had I not used oil-based paints, I probably would have had to prime and then paint it again. The oil-based paint should be plenty durable. If you build your own first LEGO League challenge table, let me know down in the comments.